CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 136 through 140 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 136. A systems administrator needs to protect sensitive FTP traffic sent over an unencrypted network. The administrator decides to use a method that creates an encrypted tunnel between two endpoints to securely forward the traffic. Which of the following techniques best meets this need? The answer is B. SSH tunneling. SSH tunneling securely forwards traffic from one system to another by encapsulating it within an encrypted SSH session. This is especially useful when working with legacy protocols like FTP, which do not offer built-in encryption. By routing the FTP traffic through a secure SSH tunnel, the data is protected from interception or tampering during transit. Question 137. A security manager is looking to streamline incident response by reducing the number of manual steps needed to detect, investigate, and contain routine threats. Which of the following technologies would best help achieve this goal? The answer is A. SOAR. SOAR, or Security Orchestration, Automation and Response Platforms help automate many steps of the incident response process such as detecting, analyzing, and containing threats. By integrating with other security tools and handling repetitive tasks, SOAR reduces the workload on analysts and allows quicker containment of routine threats. This improves response speed, reduces human error, and helps organizations handle more alerts efficiently. Question 138. A chief information officer requested evidence from a vendor that its services align with the required compliance framework. The vendor submitted a report along with a signed letter confirming that its services meet 17 out of 21 specified objectives. Which of the following did the vendor most likely provide? The answer is C. Attestation of Compliance. An attestation of compliance is a formal document that confirms an organization has met specific objectives within a regulatory or compliance framework. It is typically accompanied by supporting documentation or a summary report and is often signed by an authorized party. This document provides assurance to stakeholders without requiring a full third-party audit. Question 139. An organization is rolling out a bring-your-own-device policy that allows employees to use their personal smartphones and tablets for work. To maintain control over which applications can be installed for work use, which of the following technologies should the company implement? The answer is A. MDM. Mobile Device Management, abbreviated as MDM allows organizations to enforce security policies, control app installations, and manage device configurations on both employee-owned and corporate devices. The reverse is also true, as MDM can remotely deploy security patches, updates, and approved applications efficiently. This makes MDM a vital tool for maintaining both control and flexibility when managing mobile devices across the organization. Question 140. During a security review, analysts discovered that a compromised endpoint allowed the attacker to reuse hash credentials and access multiple critical systems. Which of the following would have best limited the attacker's ability to misuse high-level accounts? The answer is D. Privileged Access Management. Privileged Access Management, or PAM for short, limits how and when administrative credentials can be used, often by issuing time-bound, session-monitored access. This makes it much harder for attackers to leverage stolen hashes from high-level accounts in past the hash attacks. By tightly controlling and monitoring administrative access, PAM greatly reduces the attack surface and risk of credential misuse across systems. So, 
Did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.